Hello, my name is Erin Schwester and welcome to my video where I'll be talking about some common errors that novice Java programmers make. In this video, I'll be talking about illegal start of expression error and I'll be going over some errors that are caused due to missing parentheses and braces. Let's look at illegal start of expression error first. Let's take a look at how someone may come across these errors. Here we have a student class and a constructor for it with a name, surname and age as parameters. One of the places where one might encounter illegal start of expression error is while declaring the variables. So here what we're doing is we're creating variables inside the constructor and declaring them to be private. After that we're assigning the parameters to the respective variables by saying name equals student name and then surname equals student surname and finally age equals student age. Doing this would give rise to illegal start of expression error. This is because we cannot use the private modifier inside of method. Modifiers such as private, public or protected are used to determine if the variable can be accessed by another class. A link will be provided in the description if you want to know more about this. Moving on, this particular error can be solved by simply removing the private modifiers which would mean they are now local variables. Or by declaring it outside the constructor directly inside the class. This makes them instance variable. The implementation will depend on what the task at hand needs. In this case, as I plan to use these variables outside the constructor, let's declare this variable directly inside the class with a private modifier. Next, let's create some methods for this class. Here is another example of where one might come across this error. Let's define a method called getName, which returns us whatever the value of variable name is. Doing it like this, however, will give us an error. This is because you cannot nest methods within one another in Java. Method declaration should be inside the class itself and not inside another method. Another place this error might come up while working with methods is if you forget to close a method with a curly bracket at the end. Let's create two methods named getSurname and getAge. Now, let's say if we forgot to close this method off with a curly bracket, we would encounter an error here. Here the compiler thinks that getAge is some kind of expression inside getSurname method and try to compile it with that assumption. This results in an error. So make sure that when you're getting this error, you have closed off your methods appropriately and the methods aren't nested into one another. Here's another scenario where you might come across this error. Here's a simple code that asks the user to input a number and by using a simple while loop, it prints out all the numbers from one to that given number. So if we enter five, it will print out one, two, three, four, and five. However, here, if we were to input this logical operator incorrectly by, let's say, accidentally putting space between less than an equal sign, then we would come across the error illegal start of expression. The same scenario also applies for any other logical operators, such as equals equals, greater than or equals, or if you type it in the wrong order, so equals and greater than. So make sure to check if you have your logical operators inputted correctly if you come across this error again. Earlier I spoke about how forgetting to close off a curly bracket at the end of a method causes an illegal start of expression error. Now let's look at some other errors that might occur if you forget to close your parentheses or forget to add curly braces at the end. Here we have the same string clause from the example earlier, but we've given it one more attribute called marks, 
and adjusted the constructor accordingly. This class also has a method called grade which checks if the marks given is between the range of 0 and 100 and then it proceeds to check if the mark is between 50 and 60 for a pass, 60 and 70 for merit and above 70 for a distinction. And if it does not meet any of these criteria then it returns as a fail. For our first scenario let's look at method declarations. Here we have a method called public string get name with opening and closing parentheses behind get name. If these parentheses were missing and we compile the code, the compiler gives us a semicolon expected error. So if you follow what the compiler tells us and put a semicolon there, then instead of fixing the error, it gives us another new error saying Java return outside method. So when you come across this error and th the compiler tells you that it's expecting a semicolon where it should not be, make sure to check that your methods have opening and closing parentheses after the names. Another example of errors when you miss the parentheses or curly braces is when you are working with conditional statements or loops. Here we have a conditional statement with a nested if statement. While writing codes like these, it is very common and easy to forget to put a closing parenthesis after an if condition or an else condition. It can be very difficult to go through your code to find the missing parenthesis. IntelliJ is very good when it comes to pointing out this error for me and points me to the line where I'm missing a parenthesis. However, it is of good practice to make sure that your code is structured properly and is easy to read if your IDE does not pinpoint the location of the error for you. Another possible error that you might come across is when you forget to put a closing curly braces at the end. So for example let's say we accidentally forget to close this curly braces here and then we compile the code. The compiler will give us an reached end of file while parsing error. This error generally means that you've forgotten to close a curly braces somewhere in the code. IntelliJ makes it really easy for me to debug this. When you click on a bracket in IntelliJ it will tell me where, is it, where its closing bracket is. So for example this bracket here is being closed off by this bracket. This bracket here is being closed off by this bracket over here. However this bracket up here isn't being closed at all which means that we need a closing curly braces here and then if we compile this the program should run as intended. The last error message that you may come across that I want to talk about regarding missing parentheses is when you're calling a method that you created in a different class. <coughs> here we have a method called main in which we're creating a new instance of class student calling it student and then we're using this instance to call the methods that we declared in the class student such as get name, get surname, get age and grade. When calling these methods if we were to forget putting opening and closing parentheses after method names and compile this the compiler will give us an error saying variable get name isn't found. However we know in class student we declared a method called get name so whenever you're calling a method in another class and you come up with an error, make sure to check that your method has opening and closing parentheses after its name. And then if you compile it, it runs as expected. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching.